Hello and welcome to AppC Connect demonstration. In this demo, we will show you how AppC Connect can be integrated with, between uh, ShipStation shipping solution and SAP Business One ERP system. In this case, we have used SAP Business One on HANA, HANA as its core database. So first, we will start with the customer add. That means we'll add a new customer in ShipStation and we'll show you how the customer can be synced back to the SAP Business One ERP system. So for that, we'll import some new customer within the ShipStation shipping solution. And then we will show you how uh, the customer details will be synced back to SAP Business One in Business Partner Master Data. So let's start this process. So we have added few customers as you can see in the screen see these customers are imported uh, from other system to ShipStation or it can be imported using CSV so since ShipStation will automatically receive customers from other system so the customers will be created automatically in screen you can see the AppC Connect agent so this agent is a small software which is installed within the SAP server and it will sync the data back and forth between SAP Business One and ShipStation. So customer add is the trigger which we have run. All the triggers can run automatically but also the triggers can run manually as uh, for this demo we have used. So we have just synced a uh, new customer and we'll try to find out that new customer name in business partner master data of SAP business one so as you can see in the screen all the customer details and the addresses coming in and showing uh, within the BP master data of SAP business one AppC Connect agent uh, has several triggers in place all the touch points that we have between ship station and SAP business one so we'll now move forward towards the next step of uh, customer update so in this step we will update few customer in within the ship station and then we will showcase you how the customer details can be updated within the yappy system so here as you can see we are updating the company name and we'll also update the email address of this customer so that it will be added as a new customer uh, within the ship station so email address is updated now we will just simply import and we have two options while importing if we update existing record then the existing record will be updated and if we add new record the new record will be added using the new email ID so we are locating the file and we will just select and we select the option update existing record so that the previous record which is already exists within both the system in ship station the new record will be updated and then we will show you how the data can get synced to the backend ERP system so in this case also the customer update whatever happened within ship station will automatically be reflected within the SAP business one ERP system for this demo we'll use the manual trigger so there is a manual trigger called customer update so we have changed we have updated the record for David and we'll now move to the next step of AppC Connect agent so we are into SAP server we can see there is a trigger called customer update so we run this trigger manually and then we'll see the data will be updated within the SAP Business One BP Master Data. All the sync triggers comes up with sync and error logs. So in log we can see whether the task has been executed successfully or not. In this case it is done so we move to SAP Business One BP Master Data and here we can see the customer details like the email has been updated which we have updated in ShipStation. So in this way customer sync both add and update works between ship station and SAP business one moving to the next step of the product sync so here we are adding a new product within the ship station so entering the product SKU 
product name we'll also enter some other details of the product for an example the product description and if we if required we can add uh, many details many more details like weight and other attributes of this product regarding its dimension so field mapping is very important uh, between when integrating two systems and in this case field mapping of apps connect is fully dynamic so the existing fields of sap business one and ship station can be mapped according to need also can be existing mapping which we have predefined within apps connect can be changed according to need so here we have entered the cost of this item and selecting the originating country we can add multiple stores and here we save this item so we have just added a new item with all the proper details in ship station so whenever any new details gets added in ship station the data will be synced back to SAP Business One ERP system and we'll update the item master data within SAP Business One. So now we'll move to the ERP system, but before that, we quickly check the log so we can see the product ad is complete. So we can move to the ERP system. We can check in item master data is using the SKU, which will be the item code within the ERP system so here the item which you can see this is uh, this is the item which is added in ship station and now it's also added within the ERP system so the direction of the sync process the field mapping of existing fields between these two systems can be changed according to the business need the attributes as you can see uh, whatever we have mapped between the two system like the length width height the dimensions basically are available between both systems so now what we we will do we'll just do a quick product update to show you that uh, if product details are updated in one system it will be automatically updated in another system so just adding some product description and we'll slightly change the dimensions of this product like weight pricing as well and we'll save this product so once we save changes we need to go to apps connect agent and there we'll have the trigger of product update so currently in our demo environment we have configured <coughs> the product sync to happen between uh, from ship station to SAP business one but the direction of the sync can be changed according to the business need so once the product update is over we'll quickly check the sync log so here we can see the sync log showing the product is properly added now we'll quickly move to SAP business one again search through item code and we'll get the details of the product the product description has been updated which is stored in the remarks tab of item master data it is now showing the updated description and the length width the dimensions which I have changed in ship station is showing in SAP business one now moving to the next step of order so order sync is also an option within AppC connect we can sync new orders we can sync order updates as well as if any order cancelled within ship station that will also be synced to the next system so posting a new order here first we need to select the customer so selecting the customer from the list other details are automatically picked up adding the item and putting the order number adding the line item within the system so mostly since ship station has default integration with e-commerce like Magento and Shopify orders will be pushed from these systems to ship station 
and Apsi Connect will sync all the orders coming to ShipStation to the Apsi system. Selecting the item in this case and saving the order. So the new order is created within the ShipStation shipping system. Now if we go to Apsi Connect Agent, we got a trigger of order add using which new orders gets added either automatically or manually depending on the requirement we can configure. And once this is done, we'll quickly check the log and then we'll check new sales order within SAP Business One. So um, let's proceed to the next step. So the order is successfully added as we can see. So now we'll go to SAP Business One. And here we can see the order which I have entered within the ship station. So searching through the customer name here is the order which I have placed is showing within the SAP Business One sales AR module in a, as a new sales order. So we have stored few user defined fields to store the order ID of ship station within SAP Business One so that the fields can be mapped properly. So now we'll move to updating this order let's see what will happen if we update this order so editing the quantity it was two now we have made it three and the, we have, our update is done we'll go into apsi connect agent and we have run the we need to run the order update so once we run any order update so if, so if item quantity is updated or item has been replaced with a new item all these details whatever the order gets updated it will be updated in SAP Business One until its uh, status is open so once the task is complete we'll go into SAP Business One and we'll open up the order which we have just placed and synced from ship station to SAP Business One so moving to SAP Business One, we'll again start the search using the customer name. So here we can see the item has been changed. Previously it was two, now it is three. And the order total has also been updated accordingly. So now moving to our another step of canceling the order. So if we cancel this order in ship station, the similar order in SAP Business One will also be cancelled until its status is open. So if we go into order cancellation, we have a trigger in Apsi Connect Agent, which can run in a fully automatic manner and cancel all the orders which you have cancelled in ShipStation within SAP Business One. So that task of the trigger has been completed. Now if we move to SAP Business One and search of that same sales order, So we have, we'll see that the sales order has been updated and it's now showing as cancelled. Thanks for watching this short video demo.